If your computer is acting absolutely broken, you may be considering to perform a reset, but this will remove all of your apps and make you start all over. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to refresh and restore Windows and not lose anything, so stay tuned. So when your Windows operating system is totally broken, there's things not working right, like the start menu is not working right, you may be wanting to perform a reset, which would be pretty much the same process on Windows 10 or Windows 11, and actually all the way back to Windows 7. Um, but this is a bit of a drastic scorched earth approach to fixing Windows errors. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna perform what's called an in-place upgrade. We're literally gonna upgrade this Windows operating system from Windows 11 to Windows 11. 11. So we're literally upgrading it to itself. So we're just going to refresh the operating system. We're not going to perform a factory reset where we lose all of our applications and we lose all of our bookmarks and browsers. We're just going to refresh the operating system without losing anything. And this is what we would be doing in the tech shop, or at least tech shops around you should be doing. Um, but we won't go too much into that. So we're just going to open up our browser and we're going to type um, Windows Media Creation Tool and this is for Windows 10. We're gonna to go to Windows 11 for this. If you have Windows 10, then go ahead and select this one here. We're gonna go with Windows 11 for this particular one, but the process is the same. So what we're gonna do is, is we're going to create Windows 11 installation media. So we're gonna go ahead and download this one here. You can also do it this way, but we're gonna do it this way for the purpose of this tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and download this. Once it's done installing, we're gonna go ahead and open it. And we'll click yes. Once it's open, we're going to go ahead and accept the user agreement. And then it's going to be saying getting a few things ready. What it's doing is it's getting ready to make um, a bootable ISO or a Windows installation disk, which we're not going to boot from. We're actually going to run it while Windows is running. <clears throat> okay, and then here it's going to ask us some options. What I like to do is I actually like to uncheck this. And that way, it's not going to limit this installation disk to only my version. So maybe there's a 32-bit and a 64-bit. I want both options. So I always uncheck this because this is just to make a minimalist uh, installation disk, which is not useful in my opinion. But I mean, if you leave this check, it would still work. But anyway, we're going to click Next here. And we're going to go ahead and make an ISO file. Normally you could use a USB flash drive, but that takes forever, and we could still make it from a flash drive if we wanted to from an ISO file. So just click ISO file, then next. And then it's gonna tell us, ask us where we wanna save it. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna save it to the desktop, anywhere where you'll remember where it is. And it's gonna be called Windows. I'll change it to uh, install. And then click save. And then this could take anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes, but depending on how fast your machine is. If you have a relatively quick and recent machine, this will probably take like 10 minutes. Now while that's finishing up, huge shout out to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Right now, Big Tech is collecting data on everything you do online and building a profile on you for financial gain, and you don't see a penny of it. Take back your privacy and take back control over your connected life by using a reliable VPN. Unsecure websites and public Wi-Fis are the easiest ways hackers can wreak havoc in your lives. But if you have NordVPN with its military-grade encryption, lightning-fast speed, and over 5,000 servers worldwide, you can browse safely and privately. NordVPN also has state-of-the-art, dedicated peer-to-peer -peer servers to protect your usage from your ISP, as well as Big Brother and with advanced obfuscation servers, you can access blocked websites or even streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and more anywhere in the world. NordVPN has a strict no-logs policy and has never and will never be pressured by governments. Take back your privacy today and use my exclusive link in the description to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Stay safe. Okay, once it's finished, you're going to see this screen here. We're going to go ahead and click finish right here. And then this is just closing the program. Now, now you'll see on the desktop that we have our Windows installation ISO, which if you didn't change the name of it, would just be Windows here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on it, and then we're gonna click Mount. And then if we open up File Explorer, we're gonna see that it's mounted as DVD drive ESD ISO. And this is essentially a Windows install disk. And here's how we're gonna perform the in-place upgrade. We're not gonna boot off this. We're not gonna make a USB flash drive. We're just gonna open this here in the DVD drive, which is just virtual. And then we're gonna double click on setup. And we're gonna click yes. 
And like I said, we're actually not going to lose anything. We're not going to lose any applications. We're not going to lose files. We're literally just refreshing the operating system by upgrading it to itself. And this could be either Windows 10 or Windows 11, just to make sure you're using the corresponding one. If you perform this on a win, if you use the Windows 11 disk on Windows 10, uh, you'll theoretically be upgrading to Windows 11, which depending on your hardware configuration, that may be possible. But for the purpose of this video, we're upgrading Windows 10 to Windows 10 or Windows 11 to Windows 11. So make sure you have the, uh, the creation tools correct. So since we're running Windows 11 on this one, uh, we got the Windows 11 creation tool. And right now it's basically installing Windows. It looks the same as if we were performing a fresh install, except it's just doing an upgrade. <clears throat> and then it's gonna restart the machine automatically, and then we'll go to the, the next part. We'll get and click restart now. And then it's going to reboot the machine. It's doing updates. This is essentially the same thing as um, installing Windows. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let that work. You guys have seen a little bit of the movie Magic. We're running this on our virtual machine. All right. All right, and it's just wrapping up now. And then as soon as it's done installing here, it should automatically reboot and then we'll be booting into our refreshed uh, Windows 11. All right, we're gonna restart now. Now, since you're not running a virtual box, most likely yours will, you won't have to do that selection menu that you just saw. All right, and it's done reinstalling. We've now refreshed Windows. Everything is exactly the same as we did before because we didn't actually reset. So this is a much more efficient way of reinstalling Windows, especially when you don't need to remove anything. Obviously, if you're trying to remove viruses, um, a reset would be more effective, even though if you check my channel, removing the virus, in my opinion, is a much better uh, solution than resetting or reinstalling Windows. But when there's just something damaged and the other simple things, such as my one-click fix on the channel or performing, you know, SFCs from the command line um, have failed and you're still having issues, um, then an in-place upgrade is much better than a reset. And it's also quicker. A reset is often very slow and an in-place upgrade is relatively quick because you're not having to delete a whole lot of things and then download it from the cloud or trying to recover it from um, a recovery partition. So it's just a much more efficient way of doing things. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time.